Hey YouTube, Dan Ottawa here, the best third slash fourth tier Pokemon Go battler in the world, coming at you with uh, a video on Pokemon that had community day moves that are either, I think, underutilized in the Great League or just not used much at all. So Beedrill out of these three is, I think, the one that is underutilized. You're going to see in the matchups here today how strong Beedrill is uh, between being able to draw one super effective on some of the ones that you always see, like Laren Stunfisk and Bastion and everything. But also holding its own against like Venus, uh, like doing well against Venusaurs and uh, as an answer to Azu. So it's really like underrated. And then the two others that I tried that just are under, not under, I'd say not underutilized, just not used as much are Blastoise and Gyarados. And it's because Blastoise has Hydro Cannon. And if you're going to use a Hydro Cannon user, you just use Swampert or even Empoleon. Like both are probably better options. So like, um it's just because like empoleon can hit harder with the waterfalls and then the hydro cannon and then swampert just charges way faster with the mud shots so water gun fast move kind of limits blastoise's use but as you uh, you just see in the video it's not totally useless and gyarados gyarados is used with aqua tail both in the ultra league and master league uh i'm running dragon breath but you can use waterfall i just already have a water user so there's no point in running waterfall um so Dragon Breath obviously gives it coverage against like Altarius. Octail's nice spammy bait move and crunch. Nice coverage against your uh like ghosts. So let's get into the battle to see how this team performs. So Beach on the lead against a fire infernape. That's not a good luckily I have two waters. So what you're gonna see here is I used uh Gyarados as a lead early, as a safe swap early. Uh, thinking like Dragon Breath has probably more coverage and then the Aqua Tail spam plus then I have the the crunch coverage for uh, like all those other Pokemon that you'll see like Trevenant and stuff like that. And then I think I did one match where I used that as a safe swap and I got hit with Azu which is a fairy. So Dragon Breaths are useless. The water is useless because it's that because it's a water as well and the crunch is useless. So essentially you're just like drawing dead and you have nowhere to go and you're just gonna they're gonna you're gonna lose that match and they're gonna come out with a ton of energy. Uh Gramble, what a response right here. Farm all the way down, come out with a ton of energy, right? It's good against charmers. This draw one will hit for super effective if they let it go. Like such wide Beedrill has such wide coverage. And look at it, even those poisons are like going down on fire. Like it's such a strong Pokemon. Um I'm really surprised it's not used more. Is it a shadow? Did I forget to shadow it? Or no, it's not a shadow. It's just a... It's just a shiny. <laughs> and then obviously these X's are going to hit super effective on these darks, right? So really, really underutilized Pokemon, I think. Uh, I think it's just because it's a little glassy for starters. And then like rocks, like there's... You still... It's, it's just too glassy, I think, in my opinion. Um... Right, so, so I, then I stopped using Gyarados as the safe swap because of Azu. And the problem with Gyarados is, like, I've got to shield up this foul player that's going to be taken out here. The problem with Gyarados is it's, like, also a bit glassy and that half-flying um, kind of hinders it a bit, in my opinion. Uh, so, so, like... It has some play, for sure, but not as much as I would use it in the Ultra League and Master League. So if I were, uh, my opponent's just laid out there a bit, so that's unfortunate. So if I were to rank these in terms of use, I would definitely use uh, Beedrill again. Um, you can use, that's the thing. It's not like these Pokemon don't have play, because like, as you're going to see in these matchups, right, like right now it's all, so here we go, Dragon Breath against Altaria. I'm just going to hit it with just chip damage here before I get smacked with a sky attack. And they shield. And that's why having like a nice bait move is nice. But like between their dragon breast and the sky attack, I'm like going to be taken out here essentially. So that's why it, it's a little glassy for the Great League. But it's not like it doesn't have play. Like I used it recently in Sylph 
tournament and it's got like pretty wide coverage overall right because like i just said aqua tail and crunch plus dragon breath it's just like it can take a lot of pokemon it can deal with a lot of pokemon uh and then blastoise again tanky nice to have but you know swampert and napoleon exist so there's really no point of running a blastoise unless the other two are like banned in a meta or something so and that's my analysis of this um i do have a team coming when is that one coming is it tomorrow i'm doing so many videos because i did so many battles back to back but i use um did i even have bullet seed on it oh no i never mind i don't have i didn't have bullet seed on it there was a community day uh of shiftry and i use shiftry and battles but i use the snarl dark pulse leaf blade and man i forgot how hard that <laughs> that thing hits it's so glassy but it hits really hard um so and this is where i'm going to show you so i so they're just quite nice cool spear i don't know why they're not even trying to fake an earthquake uh but then i was like okay let's just go up to the skull bash i'm like you know what skull bash takes so long to get to and i mentioned before how like a shadow swampert's hydro cannon still does like a lot because hydro cannon is such a hard thing move i'm like let's just do back-to-back -back hydro cannons instead of just one in case they like shield right i'd rather just go back to back here because like look at how much these hydros are chipping like a pretty thick wall range so and now they're basically done i can almost i can almost waterfall down because they're gonna have to throw an earthquake and throw the earthquake and just drag a breath so and they don't even throw it so i can just wa uh, water gun all the way down so water gun hydro cannon it's not a terrible terrible combo to have quite honestly so terrible lead here i came in with gyarados City swap is this where i get hit with the I build up to the crunch and I thought I threw it. I got a shield and uh right, and this team is also double weak to electric in the back. Like I wouldn't run this team as an Azu, right? And, and this is probably the one I lost. Where terrible lead came in with this safe swap, and the safe swap is now just gonna get straight walled by this. And I've got nothing I can throw at it. I throw a crunch to try and lower its defense. I think Aqua Tail may be the better play. Both are resisted. Might as well get the stab. I was trying to go for defense drop, but everything's resisted. They're just building up energy in this game. It's pretty much over already, unless they make a really stupid play, but I doubt that's going to happen here. Because if you're running um, Hypno Azu, you already try hard, right? So Azu's best buddied. Play rough is not the right move, unless they're running like play rough Hydro Pump. So I've got to hope that maybe my Blastoise can take this come in here i know they have thunder punch i know i'm gonna have to take one and they're not getting out so we'll see what they have in the back but not looking great so i mentioned in the video yesterday and by yesterday it's yesterday's video but it's a video i filmed a few hours ago same hoodie and everything because i am trying to film three in one day today to get ahead um about my discord that i made for my patreon users oh it is a marowak so that's cool i don't think it's gonna am i gonna win this game no marowak's like the one thing unless they're gonna go back to back here and i sniped i did win whoa that was a real misplay i think you just stay in there double shield your do they have two shields left i think you just stay in there and double shield that and take that down that was weird especially that your marowak can so easily handle the beedrill what were they doing anyways early days can't really okay yeah early days and, and th th that's what this season is potentially about right is to try and get not only more people to use different things but it's to get more people to actually play the game i tried to catch there and i mistimed it so that was dumb um, is to try and get new people to the game. So I can't, I got to remember, I've been playing this since season one and it's now season 11. It's already season 11. But for those of you who don't remember, like the seasons before were six weeks. They weren't three months. Like back seasons one through four 
were about six weeks each, seven weeks. Was it two weeks? I think it was two weeks of great, two weeks of ultra, two weeks semester, and then one week of all of them. So I think it was seven weeks. And that was the first four seasons. And then the fifth season was like a three week thing uh, where everyone got their Pico Libres because you had to win like 20 games in three weeks. Like it was, it was something. And there's people already at rank 20. Like I'm filming this on the first day after and there's already people at rank 20 because of how easy it is to get there with 100 battles. Because a lot of it, some of these aren't even like, there's some levels where you have to win a certain amount, but others that just like play the five. And if you go oh, five, it doesn't matter. You get to the next level. So everyone, if you play, if you have absolutely zero skill at all and no Pokemon and auto wrecked your way through, you will get to rank 20 in the three months. Like everyone, if you play, you're going to get your Pico Libre. It does not matter. And that's, we go down there, Coffee Grigas. Yeah, it's a little tricky. So, Cast Farm, I know that this Cast Farm has a rock type weather ball. I just wanted to see how much, it, I let it go because I wanted to see how much it does. And it does like a decent amount, right? So, rock super effective as a bug. So, that uh, chip slot, I'm just going to throw here, hope to get a shield or take it out. We'll see what it, they do. They do shield, so I'm going to try and catch on the Blastoise, and I do catch, realizing that Blastoise is in my safe so up here. Getting a little bit of lag. And they're not leaving, which is fine. I don't know what they're trying to build up to there. And they shield. So they're now down two shields, so I may start shielding soon i may shield the next one if i can't water water gun all the way down because they clearly have something in the back that doesn't want to see blastoise because there's no real reason that you double shield a cast form on the lead it's a sylveon so add a move which is nice this will do some chip damage but like i was surprised how little that chip damage that did like that only did 50 percent on a sylveon so luckily i can come in here just full farm gotta love the poison jabs Cast form comes back in. I expected that, so I just like bank that and come in here. And it is a good thing I did because now I met with another Azu. But luckily, I think I don't want to say this one's a win. I have a shield and I'm at a drill run. So what I think I can I can do is just start aqua tailing here. No, I'm still gonna go for the crunch. I don't think that's the right move. Looking back, I keep trying to lower the defense to try and do more Dragon Breath damage, but I think just going Aqua Tail is probably the better move. Because, like, those crunches are non stab and did nothing. And let's see how much this stab Aqua Tail does. Like, almost the same. So, I, I think that now I'm at a move and I have a shield. So, they throw, I shield, get off for the win. I think going just Aqua Tail there, take the stab um, and the lower energy generation to get like another extra aqua tail off. I think that's the probably the better play there. So these uh yeah, these win X amount of battles. I've done a few of them now. I'm at like I said, it's it it topped out real quick. So people are like, why are you complaining about bonus dust? I'm like, I'm not com really complaining about it. I'm just saying like you top out pretty quick. <laughs> There's only so much you can do there, right? You top it real quick. I probably got to try to catch this next one. Catch. Thank you. There we go. Hollytoads. It's so funny because I don't think I've used a tryhard team yet. Well, I can argue. Oof. Oof. That's ugly. So now I got to come back in with, and start poison jabbing. We're at one shield. Poison Jab X Scissor. Just try and get this out of here as fast as possible. Yeah. Resist. Resist those. Try and get this out of here. They double shield. Oh, I'm going to probably have to try and shield back here to just do chip damage because I really don't want my Gyarados to see this. It is half flying, so it should only be neutral, but you don't want to take a Razor Leaf from a Vic if you don't have to. So get that out of there. They have that Politoed, and now it comes down to an Umbreon. And the Umbreon is not amazing for Gyarados. 
So as you're going to see, these Aqua Tails Dragon Breasts are going to take like four to take this out. And it's just going to take two Foul Plays to take me out. So you're going to get outpaced here. I'm wondering if I'm going to have to try and catch here to win this game. Because here comes the first. I feel like I need to catch a Foul Play here. Am I going to be able to do it? Is my switch timer even up? It's not up, so I'm going to have to throw this here. Maybe hit the buttons next time, bubbles next time, throw one and catch. Yeah, there we go. Anticipate. See, even with bad teams, you got to still make those plays. Dragon Breath down. Dragon Breath down for the win. Good play there. Good recognition. Go past me. Beedrill into Steelix. So that's interesting. I got two. I got Blastoise here, which is a decent answer. And they are not leaving, which is interesting. And out comes a... Out comes a what? Something that's going to get obliterated. Ninja ask. Okay. Goodbye. Come back in with the Steelix. Okay. This is going to be a pretty... I can see that there's only 30 seconds left in this battle. Which means that this is probably going to get... They're going to get destroyed probably pretty quick here. They're not even throwing... I guess, I don't know what they're building up to. Like, just throw the crunch, I guess. I, I chill the crunch at this point to try and... Would I chill the crunch? Yeah. Because you clearly have something in the back that doesn't want to see Blastoise. And it's an earthquake. So going for the nuke, even though I think a crunch probably is better there. And yeah, and they quit out. <laughs> okay. That is the team. Um, so, like, each have their own play. Beedrill stronger than the other two. Yeah. Tomorrow... Uh, again, I don't want to get confused. I think tomorrow is the OG team featuring, featuring Elon Raichu. And I think I went with Shiftry in that one as well. So I think that one's tomorrow. Um, yeah, we'll keep pu pushing these out. Appreciate the support. And I will see you guys in the next one.